Okay, before we even get started, I already know I'm getting comments that are gonna be like, bro, you didn't teach them how to become a hacker. But you gotta remember, I'm dealing with newbies. And if you're a newbie yourself, you gotta give newbie script kitty knowledge to other people. You know what I'm saying? All right, I already know I'm getting made fun of, okay? So just, you can place your comment down below and be like, ah, you don't know how to be a hacker. That, that's, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so teaching my siblings how to become hackers. Was that really gonna happen? Mm, no. So I decided to set up a classword password sniffing attack with HTTP. You know, one of those classic easy attacks to conduct back in the days when I was like, mm. Eight years old. I went ahead, set up my environment, and got started by showcasing my expert hacker skills to my siblings to show how cool I am. Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant here. Today, I'm gonna show my siblings how to become a hacker. After firing up Kali Linux, it was time to introduce my siblings. Oh boy. My name's Gabe. Meet Gabe, my little brother. I would rate his computer skills and efficiency a 4 out of 10. Decent player, average computer user. Hi, my name's Elena. Meet Elena, my big sister. I would rate her computer skills and efficiency at a rate of 1.25 out of 10. Um, she knows how to open up a web browser. That's about it. I'm going and meet me, an IT nerd and your wannabe script kitty expert hacker. Computer and hacking skills, zero out of 10. To show them the difference between HTTP versus an HTTPS website. So let's go ahead and fire up Calais Linux. Be a hacker. Now it was time for the demonstration where I showed them the basis of how to get a password using an HTTP website. All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you what I do on a daily basis. Actually, not really. I'm just making fun of myself. This is a virtual machine. Virtual machine is a operating system that runs on top of my base operating system. And on this distribution of this operating system, there is a set of tools that you can use to perform various tasks on the network. This is a, a packet capturing um, software program that captures network packets, okay? So when you connect to a website, you can see the packets that, uh, that, that go from your computer to the server that you're going to. Let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the uh, how to get a password. <laughs> what? She just did something really cringe. Me? <laughs> she did. Oh my gosh. This is a website, okay? This is a bug website. And... It's about bugs, literally? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I don't really know. So back in the day, back when I was like, you know, 10 years old, back when we were like younger, there used to be a way for an attacker to capture your username and password. We went ahead and already fired up a Wireshark. If we were to log in with a dummy username and password, okay, Dibu Da. Da, sir. And log in. Is that like a common thing? Yeah, Dibu Da is um, a huge like strain of malware out there. It's called Dibu Da. Well, as you can see, my sister really doesn't watch my content, but that's pretty understandable. It is cyber security. So, shut up. So, in this, we can go ahead and stop the capture. Then an attacker could come in and find the username and password. Okay. To be able to do this, remember that we put in dbuda, right, mm -hmm. for the .exe. The first packet capture, which we selected here on the blue thing, and we go down to hypertext transfer protocol, and then we go down to cookie. Cookie. Cookies. And then we did HTTP stream. Dude, I'm not gonna remember any of that. And then, as you can see, dbuda name and password right there, dbuda. What I want you guys to do is to just do what I just told you to do. Okay. You think you can do it? Yes. Okay. You think you can do it? Probably not. All right, so at this point I had no idea what to do, so I was just like, you know what? Might as well quiz these guys, see if they were actually paying attention to my expert hacker skills. So, quiz time. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> Do you, you, I did a horrible job of explaining, so I, it's, it's not going to be very good, but... No, it's just that I don't know anything about any of this. Okay, I did say something about uh, the program, right, that we were working on. It what was, is that called? Well, it's called a Wireshark, okay. I thought it was Linux. That, that's a operating system. system. What was the operating system? Shark? 
No, it was a- uh, Linux. Yes. On Linux, we used a program called what? Shark. Wireshark. And this Wireshark program did, does what? Uh, they have this whole thing, this whole square thing that you can use to look at somebody's cookies. <laughs> 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 um, kind of. Basically, it intercepts network traffic and you can read the network connections from the computer. And between those two, we found out how to find what? People's passwords. Yes. Good job. So we found the people's passwords through looking through the HTTP stream, and that's how we found the passwords. Well, good job to my sister. She found out what Wireshark was called, AKA Shark in her eyes, and she knows what a cookie is. So I think I did a good job. All right, boys, she's gone. We can hang out with the boys. I'm gonna ask you some specific questions that are going to be more focused on the issue, all right? Okay. All right, first thing is, what is this called? This? Like, yeah, what are we using? Wireshark. Scyphoid, we are using Linux. Oh, Kali Linux. Well, Kali what are we using? Linux. Okay. How Kali Linux is what? An operating system. Yeah. It's the premium it's operating the premium system. Premium operating system. It is what expert hackers use. use. Yes. Yes. Cybersecurity expert hackers. I talked about a virus today. That was huge yes. right now. What is that virus called? Diwuda. Yes, the Dibuda virus. virus, and it is a huge virus. Huge. All right, what were we trying to do? We were trying to capture packets, we captured the packets, then what did we do? We captured the packets, then we did the HTTP stream. Yes. Uh, uh, look for those, and then we went into the post thing. No, that was, no, okay, no, stop. Okay, and then we went to, uh, we to the cookies, because the cookies are what track. Uh, that you're like on the website and stuff like that. And then we went to it and then we did the yeah, the stream and then we uh, looked at their username and password. The last question is, out of all operating systems, which operating system is the best operating system? Kali Linux. Yes. Be a hacker. I obviously have led my brother into the right direction about Kali Linux and if you don't know, that's sarcasm, by the way. That was it for the experiment. Thought it went well. You know, I had to showcase my expert hacker skills and taught my siblings how to become hackers. Uh, pretty good overall. And yeah, not really. I just, yeah. You want to learn how to be a hacker? This is how you do it. <laughs>